hey guys in this video we are going to learn about pip okay what is pip picture in picture what is that and i have prepared few questions i am going to show you before we get on to the questions first of all let's understand what is pip for example there is a process on my ui path assistant right now this process if i have to run it in pip so what i will do i will click on this three dots run in pip and same thing is also available within studio debug tab okay where is the picture in picture uh, uh, picture in picture you can see that right so this will run in picture in, if i enable if i disable it will not it will run normal so what is this picture in picture let me show you one small demo okay so here it's a normal process it's a attended process and i'm going to hit on run in pip okay then it's going to prompt me are you sure you want to run this automation the automation you are trying to run was not tested for picture in picture i mean in the uipa studio i have not done it so it is prompting me running it in pip may result in unexpected behavior are you sure you want to run it so let me hit on yes so what would happen you can see a window would generate okay picture in picture window would come and in this my automation would run so let me close it okay i don't have to i really have haven't got anything inside that process so this is how it will run so you have understood what is picture in picture okay this you have understood now let me show you one of the important documentation and based on the documentation i have prepared few questions for you which are very very important what i think and i am pretty sure there will be few questions on picture in picture so you must go through this entire video so let's get started now for this you type picture in picture ui path you will find it in google this document okay now in this document let me ask you the very first question what is the first question which type of processes listen to it which type of processes are recommended to run in picture in picture is it a attended processes or it's unattended processes what is your answer so the answer is recommended is attended processes you can say rakesh can i run unattended processes picture in picture what is the purpose of picture in picture so that it doesn't disturb the user while the automation is running so let's say if i am running this automation right let me make it a smaller window where is the where is the where is the okay okay so now if if i have to run it in a smaller uh, on this window right picture in picture what would happen a new window session a new session will appear and inside that it will be running everything getting it so it won't disturb my work i can work on my laptop while the automation is also running that is the purpose so here the answer should be attended purpose and where is the documentation proof for that here is the first line okay the picture in picture feature allows you to run attended processes in collaboration with robot okay so here it could be slightly tricky okay so the purpose is to run it in the attended uh, processes okay this is very very important make a note because we can read okay entire document but if nobody is telling you which one to highlight you will never know you will simply read it but you will not be able to answer it right so it is always good to highlight and understand ki, okay this is what i should remember pip for attended processes can i run attend process yes you can but there is no point only when there is a user is there it is made so that the user won't get disturbed with his work right okay all right so recommended is attended process now let me ask you you got it right how from the each sentence uh, the question could come okay now let's look at the second question okay what is the main purpose of pip i just explain what is the main purpose of pip if i ask you it could come in any uh, different forms okay so here is the center here is the answer a purpose so let me highlight this one this is important word why it is not getting highlighted yeah okay now a process started in picture in picture mode runs in an isolated window session this is important thus allowing you to use the machine while the process is running okay this is important allowing you to use the machine while the process is running so from this any question comes you can any form the questions could come you can answer it very very important okay so you have answered two questions properly 
okay so what is the main purpose of the pip allows the user to use the machine or work on the machine while the attended process is still running in an isolated window session okay this much you should understand let me ask you the third question a process is running in pip a process is running in pip you choose to close the window what happens for example the question is very pretty simple let's say a process is running okay so are you sure you want to run this the same prompt has come so i'll say yes after the prompt say the process is started running and i'm going to close it yes the moment it closes what happens it says failed so the sentence is a confirmation dialog appears and choosing to close the pip window right you saw that confirmation window has appeared stops the running process and it stops the running process this is important stops so many people will think when you close it, it will run in a normal window no it will stop the running process remember that so where is the documentation proof for that um for that here it will be see um windows task okay and selecting close window or simply closing the window in the pip window okay a confirmation dialog appears and the choosing to close the pip window stops the running process this is also very very important okay so you know how it behaves so any question comes you should be able to answer it okay now another very very important question for the very first time you are running pip running a process in pip what happens okay so what what will happen it will ask to enter credential so where is the documentation proof for that here is the note okay this is very important admin rights are needed to enable the picture in picture functionality on the machine okay this is needed only for the first time in picture in picture is used for the first time okay so th this should be important so you should read the question so the question will be framed in different ways so if you know what it is then you can answer any type of question okay that is where i am trying to help you with don't go by reading something and uh, if you have the entire understanding any kind of questions comes your mind will walk and you will be able to answer okay that is how you should prepare yourself okay so that's why i am completely against any sort of you know uh, dumps and all that you should prepare in a way that anything comes you will be able to anyway answer it okay you will enjoy that exam also okay you will enjoy the exam because you thought and did it so this needed only okay uh, the actual process can be started in picture in picture without elevated so afterwards okay afterwards it won't ask you it will only ask for the very first time so for for me if you see it did not ask me that for the very first time when i enabled it it asked me so you try that it will ask you for a windows credential after that it won't ask you clear so these are couple of important points what i felt i should uh, let you know and there is also something here okay the default timeout starts a process in pip session is 180 seconds so let's say you are starting so what is this 180 second if the login in the picture in picture session takes longer than that so it will use that credential that you have provided for the very first time right username and password so it will try to log into the session so within the 180 seconds if it fails then it will show throw a timeout error okay this is also important make a note of this okay for the picture in picture i thought i think those are the important ones and marking a process in pip ready okay in the project settings also there is something called starts a process let me show you this so i'll go to project i'll go here and uh, here something called pip okay pip options tested for pip so here i have not tested tested for pip starting in pip okay all these options can be enabled in the projects window that also you should be aware okay very very important one invoke let's say a user or a developer using invoke workflow file and he wants to open that workflow file process right invoke workflow file means it will open a new process he wants to open it on a new window where it can be enabled do you know where it can be enabled so for example here the invoke workflow file is there i want to enable a pip so the normal process will run as it is okay but only for this one when it comes to this particular activity it should open in pip so for that there is something called tar target session picture in picture okay this should be pretty clear to you so um yeah so invoke activities um uh, this sentence is important i'll mark it 
इनवोक एक्टिविटी सच एस इनवोक प्रोसेस इनवोक वर्कफ्लो फाइल एंड रन पार्लर प्रोसेस हैव द ऑप्शन टू चूज वेयर द स्टार्ट न्यू प्रोसेस ओके सो देर इज ऑप्शन पिक्चर इन पिक्चर सो दिस इज इफ यू गो थ्रू द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन प्रिटी वेल I think you will be confident. Okay, so go through this entire page, understand, practice it on your own, be ready. So the any question comes, you should be able to answer it. So thank you guys. Uh, we are going to meet in our next content. So please do keep commenting that you have completed all the um, videos that you are watching, and uh, do let me know if you have any questions. I will try to answer them. So let's move on to our next topic. Thank you guys.